them in seclusion using fake pseudonyms. I'm true bad. Mind travels like a schizo on two tabs with do racks. This is 50 Radio. This is 50.com. I am your host at Gossip Viv. It's the hoorah, nigga. The Heineken is here. <laughs> DJ Thorough, a.k.a. Thorough Zano, the bridge to the streets. Thank you. Oh. Be right. <laughs> a.k.a. 360. Nigga. We got our third guest in the building. Oh, you said that with emphasis. Rod Digger, Digger, Digger. Hey, oh, three's a charm. <laughs> what up, though? Oh. And the crowd goes wild. Right. Can I, can I get it? Yeah, thank you. I'm like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What up, though? How are you? I'm good. I'm I'm blessed. I I, I see y'all having fun up here, man. Yes. That's all we do. That's we, all we, we do. describe niggas' behavior. <laughs> <laughs> so what's been going on with you lately? Because your voice is so distinct and people love it because you bring that. I've been leaking a lot of music. My, my SoundCloud is lit right now. I okay. don't leak like I don't leak like five joints in the past month. Um, doing a, working on a few different things. I'm working on like a, a three song hip house EP. I'm working on a, a actual live band EP with with a with a live band. Be like seven eight joints. Just just something you know. Okay. Something I thought thought of. Nice little creative twist for me. And um, the hip hop, of course. I, I got a blend tape on the way. And I also have an album on the way. So this, the stuff that I've been leaking is is uh, are things that's going to be a part of the album, but it's also going to be things that you know right. people haven't heard. Wait, what's your relationship with Busta these days? Um, I mean, we cool. We not like you know, we not BFFs. Right. You know, <laughs> I, 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 I definitely I, I reached out with the, the passing of his father, but we don't we don't really communicate like right. that. Okay. It's, it's, it's all love, but it's like, you know, it's like, what's up when I see you? Right. Yeah. Because Busta always had the flip mode, and he always had that family vibe. And, you know, my mother always said, if you start with people, and then they kind of, like, disappear, and then it's only you, you got to check the person who's just still there, not with they people. So, and I'm going somewhere with this. Do you, I already know where you go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel Let's like go. there's something with Busta? Because, like, then it was after the flip mode, then it was the young money or the cash money or whatever he signed to. And then they not messing with him no more. So it seems to be like a trend with Bust. And then he was dealing with Reek and pushing Reek. And then him and Reek fell out. It's like he never keep the people that was there and support him. I'll, I'll say this about Buster. He, he's, he's, very, he's very driven. And I think... I think the problem with Buster is, if anything, I think he just doesn't have like enough confidence in himself to really like be that machine and 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 and, and like go for it, you know, really like establish your own brand like that. I mean, we did it with Flip Mode, mm-hmm. and we, you know, we bounced through a couple of situations, and and I can't say everything was Buster's fault because at the end of the day, everybody had to hold their own. Like right. I didn't wait for Buster. Like I got a Rod Digger album out. You know, it, it sometimes it really depends on you know the artist you are working mm-hmm. with. But but I will say like Buster is one of one of those people that is. You know, he's a he's a very driven artist himself, and and sometimes I do think that like gets in the way of him like kind of stepping aside for a minute, or you know, just being a boss and letting that next person Come be a, a you know be an artist like that. I think mm. be, because like he's so like he, it's in his blood. He's been doing it for so long. Like I don't know any other artist that spends more time in the studio than Busta, and I I put that on my seed like. He is a very, very focused, you know, hardworking, ethical brother. And I think sometimes, like, that just kind of, like, clouds everything else. Mm-hmm. You know, what are your thoughts, like, on the Nicki Minaj's, the Iggy Azalea's, and uh, what was that? Remy one? coming and out. Remy and Remy coming back. I'm um, so happy she's out. Shouts out to Remy. Um, I think, you know, I think Remy's in a, in a, uh, you know, I think she's on a, on a good path. I, I, I think she definitely needs to like, you know, just do a little homework and, and kind of like get on these blogs and the internet and just really see what's what out there. What makes you say that? What makes me say that? Because I, because I've heard a lot of interviews. I've heard her say like, she, you know, she got to listen to the radio while she was in, in, in jail. Mm. And I, I feel like. Listening to the radio by itself will make you think like, oh, that's all that's, you know, that's my competition. Oh, I'm straight. Like, I don't think she's 
really aware of like how much dopeness is out there and like how much the internet has taken over and how mm. many girls really are like out there spitting. So I think like when she she does like more, you know, the more research she does and and you know just stay in the studio, stay in the studio because everybody gets better with time. And stuff. Yeah. I, I think the more you know, the more she hits the studio. I I, I think the, the the smoother you know of a ride she gonna have. I wouldn't. If I was her, I wouldn't. I wouldn't try to jump in the Barbie box. No. I, I would definitely, you know. I'm hoping that the people that are advising her or telling her, you know, just keep it, you know, capitalize off the hype, but but keep it street, because that's, you know, those are the people that are checking for you, not mm-hmm. the barbs, not the, you know, right. like. You know, just recognize that the, the streets are really the ones pulling for you. See, see, <laughs> Iggy Zaya is like, I can't get into her because well, no. I, because it's just not real to me. Like, mm. I, It's not like, even her talking. real voice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, I mean, you know what? And not, for nothing, and not for nothing because people have accents in real life as opposed to like when they Idris work. Elba. But like, I never knew me, he had an accent. But let me say this to you. Now, there is a white girl from Australia that spits in an Australian accent, and her name is Chelsea Jane. Like, that I can get into. Mm. Like, teach me Australian hip-hop culture. Don't come to America and try to convince me that you're gangsta. The book, like that's that's it. That's that's wow. it. Like that's what it, she's you know. a beautiful girl. I mean, she you is. know, like capitalize she off the supermodeling thing. But it's like we're not gonna believe you if you're trying to convince us that you out here like trap shooting sh- street. I, I, I can't. <laughs> I, I believe I can't. her. You I, believe I, I, her? Yes. Because at one point, you know, she was rolling, rolling around with the ASAP, ASAP niggas. That means they had her in Harlem. Well, yeah, somebody in ASAP had her, yeah. Yes, in Harlem. She had yeah, to be they, around the yeah. chicken wing <laughs> and a rucker. Rod's crazy. She, so she had to yeah. see a firearm. <laughs> that went all the way over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, I know. Okay, no, I, but you know, I mean. I'm not defending. I just, I'm just I, I, I but, see, but see, that's the problem. Like, there's, what too, you this, there's too many passes being given. Oh, like, I, I'm like, not giving like, yes. up. Like, oh. can I, can I mm, say this? Break like, it down. Like, everybody was mad at Nikki for making that comment at BET. This is what I want to say. When did it become wrong to call out people that don't write their own rhymes? When did that Thank become you. a crime in hip? This is hip hop at the end of the day. And yeah, but for years Steve niggas haven't been writing their own rhymes. Exactly, <laughs> and they kept it, and they and they kept it real yeah. hush. And 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 when they got called listen, out, listen. Hey, when they got called out, they had to show and prove. What's your favorite baseball team? If you have one. Where is this going? No, no, let, let me finish. Team. <laughs> let, let me. I mean, I got to go with the Yankees. All right, now, the, the 2000 Yankees, all the niggas was on steroids. Okay. <laughs> but they got the World Series championship. Do we give it back because the niggas was on the juice? No, we don't give it back. So, so then niggas is ghost riding for some girl. She got a hit single. We rock out and drink liquor. But see, it. but what, what, but Break why, but why, me. but why does, yeah. but why does everything get dismissed because they have a hit? So that means it's okay to not write your own rhymes. It's so, and I'm not even. This ain't even about nobody well, no, specific. It it's it's a, so it's okay to be corny. It's okay to not write your own rhymes. It's all of these things are okay because you got a hit. Yeah, because niggas is that's what's fucking up hip hop in the first yeah, place. Let it fuck up. That so it is, come back but again. That, you you wouldn't you wouldn't agree that yeah, yeah. that's what's ruining hip hop in the first place. I don't give yes. a fuck. MC Hammer you know had hits. Vanilla Ice had hits. And what happened? To did, them? did we call them hip hop? No, what happened? Oh. To them? They went away. And, it, and for what? So we can for, grow better, right? They, they Let the niggas have their run. Well, now. This is what I have an issue with, because my issue is never with any other artist or what they bring to the table. My issue is with the the higher powers. Mm. Like, I don't, I don't personally, I don't consider her hip hop. Like, I listen mm. to her album. Like, I don't. Everything that I hear on there is everything but that. And. I feel like hip hop is hip hop. Like the same way they took R and B and okay, so for the for the ones that are considered real R and B, we're gonna call them neo soul. Mm. So now we call so now we can call Ariana Grande hit, uh, R and B. So yeah. my thing is hip hop <laughs> is representative of this to inform and empower inner city youth. Okay. And I'm I, fi- I like and, that. And I'm fine with anybody's race, creed, or color participating. Mm. But don't ever forget what it was created for in the first Respect. place. When it starts being de- when it starts being lucrative and, and 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 all of this for everybody else's culture, but detrimental to ours, that's when I have a beat. So, so what do you want to call her then? What if, would I call her? Hip hop. If she's not a hip hop. Um, I don't know. I have to think about that. Hip hop. Yeah. Hip hop. 
I got a Hip-hop question. Hip-hop hobby? Listen, listen. If you... Even, I mean... Cause now, now, do you think do you think it's right if you're if you're at an award ceremony? Do you think it's right for the same song to be to win the rap category and the pop category? Don't you don't think that's taken away from rap? Mm-hmm. Who gives a fuck awards? Like Drake said, I don't do it for trophies. No, well, not yeah. not not that you have to worry about awards, but it's these little things that everybody that just thinks who gives a fuck about it. That's but, true, but and then, it, let, it keeps but eventually escalating to something. It culminates into something where we don't have any control over the I situation. respect that. Understood. I, so, I see that you know, angle. So I'm still one of those, like, and it's not anger, Angela you Davis. Know? I'm still one of those, like, boom, Baptist, like, I'm fighting the good fight for the hip hop era. Yeah! Who be writing rhymes all night? Friday nigga in the house and my plans is tight. tight. Peace to the ones that don't fight. Friday nigga in the house and my plans is tight. A black queen, and best believe my black jeans won't say Paco. I swing to the bill for some waffles and some beef falafel.